Heat Signature is a game where you can steal things from people, steal people from things, as well as a slew of other morally dubious acts that would make middle-aged news reporters very upset again. But my favourite thing about Heat Signature is how masterfully crafted the learning curve is. I'd only been playing for about 8 hours, but I felt fucking unstoppable. Holy shit, that was sick. In such a short period of time, the game had me feeling like an absolute god. The multi-ball fires five grenades. <laughs> that was... Objective is dead. Oh shit. And then, then, then I tried one of the high level missions. That's where this game gets you. Cause just when you feel unstoppable, it hits you with just how little you actually know. What do you mean I can't kill him? Why did they take the damage? Having just experienced the Dunning-Kruger effect in full force, I began learning how to deal with what the fuck just happened. The guy who face tanked about 62 consecutive blows to the face had armor. I'd need an acid weapon to hurt him. This guy has a shield, so I'm gonna have to hack his Roblox account so he gets too depressed to turn it on. This guy just realized that a lot of people actually think the Dunning-Kruger effect is stupid people think they're smarter than smart people. But what it really means is that people who aren't skilled enough in certain things don't have the knowledge to see just how unskillful they are. So no, Dylan, from my year 8 maths lessons, I'm not stupid just because I think I'm smarter than you. You spend all day sitting in the corner, itching your ass and then pick biting your nails, you stupid twat! <clears throat> Where were we? Oh, right, right, the game. So after firming that L, the first thing I did was I, I got to learning. I started to realize that I needed to start reading shit, man. Like, like, look, look, just read the fucking tooltip. And I would have known that these guys explode on death. But no, my dumbass learned this after going to stab them. Or this one, where I realized I was going to be crashing into an enemy spaceship eight seconds away and had to throw myself out of the window and go through the most fucking stressful part of this entire game. The sick bastards who made this game make you have to fucking catch yourself. Please, 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 just get in the fucking ship. Get in the ship. I, I don't understand it. This would be so easy, but when, like the slightest bit of stress and my brain turns to fucking mush. Please, just get in. Get in the ship. <gasps> Come on. Please, please, just w fucking come on, man, fucking... <clears throat> anyway, you see, that was a liberation mission, which is a mission you can do to expand your empire, either by crashing an enemy ship in a blaze of glory, or by doing the same mission over and over and over again. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm raging, I'm fuming. <sighs> Fucking fuck. Please, 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 he's right fucking there, he's right fucking there. Come on, yes, yes, out, out the fucking window, come on, please, yes! Yeah, fuck that, I'm gonna stick to the fucking sick explosions, let's go! That was originally gonna be the ending, right? But then as I was editing this, I, was, I played the game again and I did something really sick, but like I've already planned out the, enti so in the entire video, so I'm just gonna force it in now. I accidentally set off an alarm because those guys were linked, still don't understand that. And he starts to run away, so I use the Sidewinder, which lets you go to anywhere you could have walked yourself, right? I've mistimed this. There we go. And then, I use the Visitor, which lets you go somewhere before being dragged back to teleport outside of the ship. And then I use the Swapper, which fucking obviously swaps you, 
to swap outside the ship. And then the visitor drags me back, killing me instantly. Fuck. Okay, wait, where were we? I'll write a really abrupt ending to the video.